Sophia, my desktop computer is big in size and tablet is small. But both perform the same function. How is this possible? Yes, Romy, both perform the same function as they both have processor, but it is small in tablets. You know, the early computers were very big and were kept in large rooms. Really? It is surprising. Please tell me about different types of computers. Okay, Romy, let us learn about them in the chapter. We all know that the computer is an electronic device that performs different types of tasks very quickly and efficiently. It comes in different shapes, sizes and weights. Mainly, the computers are classified into two categories according to size, according to purpose. The classification of these two types is shown below. Types of computers According to size, supercomputer, mainframe computer, mini computer, and microcomputer. According to purpose, there are three types of computers. Analog, digital, and hybrid. Types of computers according to size. According to size, computers can be divided into the following categories. Supercomputers Supercomputers are the largest, the fastest and the most expensive computers. They are one of the best in terms of their processing capacity. These can process trillions of instructions per second. They are used for stock analysis, weather forecasting, space exploration, earthquake studies nuclear weapons testing, etc. Some companies which manufacture supercomputers are Cray Research, IBM and Hevlet Packard. Some examples of supercomputers are Cray XT5 and IBM Watson. Mainframe Computers Just like supercomputers, mainframe computers are also large and powerful with a huge storage capacity. They are used by large organizations to manage bulk data at a very high speed. Such computers are used to run commercial applications like banking, airlines, railways, etc. Some examples of mainframe computers are Hitachi's Z800 and VAX 8842. Mini Computers Mini computers are comparatively smaller than mainframe computers in terms of their speed and storage capacity. They are also less expensive. They are more powerful than microcomputers. They can support more than one user at a time. They are also called workstations. They are more likely to be used in universities and industries. Some examples of mini computers are VAX series, DEC and PDP. Microcomputers Microcomputers are widely used computers. These are probably the cheapest ones and easier to use. They are generally single-user computers and are found on our desks, tables, offices and almost everywhere. Some manufacturers of microcomputers are Dell, Apple, HP, Sony and Toshiba. Microcomputers are further classified as shown below. Microcomputers Desktop computers, laptops, notebooks, palm tops, handheld computers, tablet computers, embedded computers. Desktop computers Desktop computers are the most popular ones. They are also known as personal computers or simply PCs. They are usually easier to use and more affordable. They are mostly used in houses, schools, colleges and workplaces. Laptops, notebooks and palm top computers. These are called portable computers because of their small size. They are also called as mobile computers because they can be carried easily. They are lightweight computers with a thin screen. They can operate on batteries and hence are very popular with travelers. 
their screen folds down onto the keyboard when not in use. Handheld computers, smart books, smartphones and PDA. They are small and can be carried anywhere. They are not as powerful as desktops or laptops. PDA stands for Personal Digital Assistant. Tablet Computers Tablet computers are mobile PCs with features of both laptop and handheld computers. They have a touch screen or a pen-enabled interface which replaces the computer's mouse and keyboard. They can also convert handwritten matter into typed text. Embedded Computers Embedded computers are special purpose computers. They are not standalone computers. They are actually incorporated into other devices. Unlike a general purpose computer, an embedded computer performs predefined tasks, usually with every machine specific requirement. Some examples of embedded computers include ATM machines, cell phones, music players, calculators, automatic washing machines, set top boxes, DVD players, digital cameras video game consoles etc types of computers according to purpose analog computer an analog computer works on a continuous range of values all operations in an analog computer are performed in parallel and data is represented in physical variables such as voltage pressure temperature and speed a speedometer a voltmeter a scale machine and a clinical thermometer are some examples of analog computers. Digital computer. A digital computer operates on digital data such as numbers. It uses the binary number system in which there are only two digits, 0 and 1. Each of these digits is called a bit. A digital computer can give more accurate and faster results. Digital computers like laptops, calculators and digital wrist watches work on digital data. Hybrid computer A hybrid computer combines the desirable features of analog and digital computers. Hybrid computer accepts analog signals and converts them to the digital data. They are used in scientific applications. An example of hybrid computer is the computer used in hospitals for ultrasound. Characteristics of computers Speed, accuracy, diligence, storage and versatility are some of the key characteristics of a computer. Let us learn about them. Speed A computer is a very fast device. It can carry out instructions at a very high speed. For complex calculations, a computer takes only a few seconds, whereas a human may take hours. The speed of the computer is calculated in MIPS, million instructions per second. Accuracy A computer is programmed to give accurate results to the inputs provided to it. Wrong inputs will yield a wrong result. Diligence a human can feel tired after working for long hours, but a computer can work for hours without any break and errors. It can perform long and complex calculations with the same speed and accuracy. Storage A computer can store huge amount of data. Any information can be stored for a long time. The storage capacity of the computer is measured in terms of kilobytes. Versatility We can use computers to perform completely different types of work at the same time. We can listen to music while doing our homework at the same time. Programming languages A computer uses different languages to communicate with its users and its components. These languages are known as programming languages. A programming language is a computer language that is used by the programmers to develop applications, scripts or other set of instructions for a computer to execute. 
there are different types of programming languages and each has its own specific rules. Let us learn about them. Low Level Languages A computer cannot understand the instructions given in English. It can only understand and execute instructions that are given in the form of a machine language. Low level languages are the machine codes, that is language of zeros and ones. There are two types of low level languages, machine language and assembly language. Machine language, first generation language 1GL. Machine language is the lowest and the most elementary level of programming language. It is the only programming language which a computer understands. The programs written in this language are machine dependent. The computer is manufactured in such a manner that it only understands one language, that is machine code which is represented inside the computer by a string of binary digits, bits 0 and 1. The symbol 0 stands for the absence of an electric pulse. The symbol 1 stands for the presence of an electric pulse. Since a computer is capable of recognizing electric signals, therefore it understands machine language. Machine language programs have the advantage of very fast execution, speed and efficient use of primary memory. Its use is very tedious, difficult and time-consuming method. A program written in machine language for one computer may or may not run on another computer. To make programming simple, other easier to use programming languages have been developed. Assembly language, second generation language, 2GL. While using the machine language, some inconveniences were faced by the programmers. To solve these problems, they developed assembly language. It is a very important low level language, which is also machine dependent. In this language, Operation codes and operands are given in the form of alphanumeric symbols instead of zeros and ones. These alphanumeric symbols are known as mnemonic codes. For example, add is used for addition, sub is used for subtraction, etc. A mnemonic code is a combination of maximum five letters. Though this language consists of the English alphabets, Still, it is very difficult to master it and needs a lot of practice. The instructions are converted into machine codes by the language translators to be executed by the computer. A language translator program called an assembler performs this conversion. A program written in assembly language is called source program, whereas that converted into machine language by the assembler is called object program. Assembly language provides an easier and more efficient way to program than machine language. The advantages of programming with assembly language are that they produce programs that are efficient, use less storage and execute much faster than those designed using any other high-level language. High-level language, third generation language, 3GL. High-level language has a format which is very close to the English language. The main purpose of developing high-level language is to enable people to write programs easily in their own native language environment, which is English. Most high-level languages are considered to be procedure-oriented language because the program instructions comprise lists of steps and procedures that instruct the computer not only what to do, but how to do it. These languages are basically symbolic languages that use English words or mathematical symbols. These languages do not use mnemonic codes. Each instruction in the high-level language is translated into the machine language instructions and is then translated back to the high-level language providing the result. Two types of language translators are used with high-level languages, that is, compilers and interpreters. BASIC, COBOL, FORTRAN, C, C++, Java, Python are some examples of 3GL. 
fourth generation language 4GL. The fourth generation languages are also known as very high level languages. They are non procedural languages and are named so because they allow programmers and users to specify what the computer is supposed to do without having to specify how the computer is supposed to do it. The code of fourth generation language is similar to that of 3GL. The only difference is that the syntax of the 4GL is much closer to the human language than 3GL. It can easily be understood by people without any formal training or programs. Multiple common operations can be performed by a single programmer. Programmers spend less time and effort to code the programs for 4GL because focus is on what the program should accomplish and not on how should it accomplish. Oracle Forms, PL, SQL, SAS are some examples of 4GL. Fifth Generation Language, 5GL The fifth generation programming language is based on solving problems using constraints given to the program rather than using an algorithm written by a programmer. The examples of fifth generation language are more constraint based than logical programming languages and some are declarative languages. It is designed to make the computer solve a given problem without the programmer. Due to this feature, the programmer only needs to worry about what problems need to be solved and what conditions need to be met. There is no need for the programmer to worry about how to implement a routine or algorithm to solve them. Textionary Programming Language It is a computer language that is used by the programmers to develop applications, scripts, or other set of instructions for a computer to execute. Machine Language It is the lowest and the most elementary level of programming language. It is the only language which a computer understands. Assembler It is a computer program which translates assembly language to machine language format. Mnemonic Code it is an abbreviated term that is used to define a specific command or function. Compiler It is a computer program or a set of programs that transforms source code written in a high-level programming language into machine language before executing it. Interpreter it is a computer program that directly executes instructions written in a high-level programming language without compiling them into a machine language program. Let's refresh. The computers are classified according to their size and purpose. According to the size, the computers are divided into supercomputers, mainframe computers, mini computers and microcomputers. Supercomputers are the largest, the fastest and the most expensive computers. Mainframe computers are used to run commercial applications. Mini computers are also called workstations and can support more than one user at a time. Microcomputers are the smallest and found almost everywhere. They are further divided into desktop, laptop, handheld, tablet and embedded computers. According to purpose, the computers are divided into analog, digital and hybrid. A computer has different characteristics like speed, accuracy, diligence, storage and versatility. A programming language is a computer language that is used by the programmers to develop applications, scripts or other set of instructions for a computer to execute. Machine language was the first programming language to be developed and it is the only one which a computer understands. Assembly language was developed to overcome some of the inconveniences that were faced by the programmer in the machine language. High-level languages have a format which is very close to the English language.